Hello everyone, Gaurav from Know How Academy here. So far, we created a screen design with simple clicks and drags in our Flutter flow. Also, we set the validation so that users must fill in the credentials before clicking the sign up button. But we didn't store the data anywhere. Now, let's step up a little by integrating Firebase in our application so that we could store the user's data and also implement authentication very easily. Now let's understand why Firebase is used with Flutter. Firebase provides ready-made services like databases and authentication that you can easily integrate into your Flutterflow app. It also lets your app update data in real time, which is great for features like chats or live feeds. Firebase simplifies user sign up and login processes with built-in authentication. Also, you can easily store images and files in Firebase which is useful for apps that handle user content. Firebase is highly scalable. It can handle growing amounts of users and data without you needing to change much. Now let's set up Firebase in our Flutter flow with simple steps. First, I will go to my project. In my settings, I will go to Firebase and here I will click create project. Here I will name the project sign up screen Firebase and select the region South Asia Mumbai and click on sign in with Google. Now here we don't have to do anything. Flutterflow will create our Firebase project automatically. Here it's written we are creating your Firebase project. This should take three or five minutes. You can navigate away from the screen in the meantime. In the meantime, let's us create our login screen too. For that, I will just duplicate our page and here I will just delete the confirm password field and here I will name the button and here I will change the label to welcome back. Now I will just add a text link here to navigate if user hasn't registered. Here I will add a text don't have an account we will just change the text color here and we'll make it a little bold sign up and here i will add the action navigate to on tab i will set home page and here i will just change my page name from home page copy to login and our home page name will be sign up so here our firebase project is ready now i will just enable auth on firebase after clicking i am on my firebase console here i will select build and authentication and here click on get started to enable my authentication in my project as you can see, there are multiple authentication methods here. I will select email password and enable it from here and click on save. Now we have enabled our authentication. But before that, here I will go to my storage and click on get started to deploy the Firestore rules. Deploying the Firestore rules is necessary because we are going to store our data in our Firebase collection. And it also creates a bucket here to store our media files. Now it's setting up the security rules here. Just move back to our project. It's showing the error project uses Firebase performance monitoring, but Firebase config files are not uploaded. To fix that, I will click here on generate config files and here we'll generate the files here. Now a bucket is created and config files are being generated. Our config files are generated now. Now I will just click on deploy to deploy these Firestore rules. And our Firebase is set up now. Now I will just go to here in my Firebase Firestore. I will click create collection and I will create a collection here named users. Here, it looks like you are trying to create a user collection. Would you like us to repopulate it with default user fields? If I click yes, it will create these fields automatically. Now we have our collection ready. Before implementing it, please remember to go to settings and here turn on 
select everyone and then deploy the Firestore rules. It is required because we want our user to perform all the action including read, write, update and delete. So that's why we are enabling it and after that I will deploy it here. So our Firestore rules are deployed. Now I will just implement authentication in our application. For that, first I will click on settings. Here is our option authentication. I will just click on enable authentication. Here I want to select the initial page, which is our entry page. I will select the login and this logged in page will be logged in page. Now we have set up if the users don't have an account, he will just click on sign up and cre can create the account here. Same, I will just copy here and paste here and I will change it already have an account here login now i'll click here and here and then i will click here to login now we have set up our pages let's set authentication first here on sign up i will click i will remove this action navigate and add action create account after clicking it's asking for the auth provider I will click email here. Now I have to map the text field from where we are taking the email. Here is text field one for the password, the password field one, and the second is our confirmed password, password field two. Also Firebase authentication doesn't store data. For that you need to here add the field email and set it from variable. And here you have to select widget state and select our email field to store our data. Now we have set up our create authentication. Let's move to login. Here I will click login and here I will select login. Here is our login email. I will select the email field here and for the password, password field. And we are done. Now in our logged in page, let's add a text we want to see our email here so for that i will just click on the text and here is the options i will select authenticated user and email now we'll see the authenticated users email here also let me add a button to log out here i have written log out and in the button action i will click on tab add action log out after clicking it, you will be logged out of the application. Now we have set up your, our authentication. Let's test it in our testing mode. Now, here is our screen and we don't have an account, but let's test our authentication. I will write here. I am getting the error. The supplied auth credential is incorrect. So for that, first I have to create my account. I will click here. I will write email and then I will add the password. Here we are getting the error. Password should be at least six characters. So I will enter six characters. Now see we have logged in and here is our authenticated email and below is our logout button. So let's test it again. So let's test our logout button. I will click on logout and here I am logged out of our app. Now let's test our login. See now we have successfully logged in, our, in our application. So you saw how easy it was to set up your Flutterflow with Firebase and also implementing authentication. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.